Pilgrim's Progress, Chapter 1 Continued Then said Evangelist, why are you not willing to die, since this life is attended with so many evils? The man answered, because I fear that this burden is upon my back will sink me lower than the grave, and I shall fall into Tophet. And sir, if I be not fit to the fit to go to prison, I am not fit, I am sure, to go to judgment and from hence to execution, and the thoughts of these things make me cry. Then said Evangelist, If if this be thy condition, why standest thou still? He answered, Because I know not whither to go. Then he gave him a parchment roll, and there was written within, Flee from the wrath to come. The man therefore read it, and looking upon Evangelist very carefully, said, Whither must I fly? Then said Evangelist, pointing with his finger over a very wide field, Do you see yonder wicked gate? The man said, No. Then said the other, Do you see yonder shining light? He said, I think I do. Then said Evangelist, Keep that right in your eye and go off directly there too, so shalt thou see the gate at which when thou knockest, knockest it shall be told thee what thou shalt do. I, so I saw in my dream that the man began to run. Now he had not run far from his own door, but his wife and children, perceiving it, began to cry after him to return. But the man put his fingers in his ear and ran on crying, Life, life, eternal life. So he looked not behind him, but fled toward the middle of the plain. The neighbors also came out to see him run, and as he ran, some mocked, others threatened and some cried after him to return, and among those that did so, there were two that resolved to fetch him back by force. The name of one was obstinate, and the name of the other pli pliable. Now, by this time, the man was got a good distance from them, but, however, they were resolved to pursue him, which they did, and in a little time, they overlooked him, then said the man, Neighbors, where, wherefore are you have come? They said, To persuade you to go back with us. But he said, That can by no means be, you dwell, said he. In the city of destruction, the place also where I was born, I see it to be so, and dying there, sooner or later, you will sink lower than the grave into a place that burns with fire and brimstone. Be content, good neighbors, and go along with me. What? said obstinate, and leave our friends and our comforts be behind us? Yes, said Christian, for that was his name, because that all which you shall forsake is not worthy to be compared with a leader of that which I am seeking to enjoy. And if you will go along with me, and hold it, you shall fare as I myself, for there where I go is enough and go spa to spare. Come away and prove my words. What are you think you seek, since you leave the world to find them? I seek an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, and that for death not away, and it is laid up in heaven and safe there to be bestowed at the time appointed on them that diligently seek it, seek it. Read it so, if you will, in my book. Touch said, obstinate, away with your book. Will you go back with us or not? No. No, not, I said the other, because I have laid my hand to the plow. Come then, neighbor, pliable, let us turn again and go home without him. There is a company of these crazy-headed Combs, combs, quack, cocks, combs that, when they take offense by the end, are wiser in their own eyes than seven men that can render a reason. Then 
as a pliable don't revile. If what the good Christian says is true, the things he looks after are better than ours. My heart inclines to go with my neighbors. Neighbor, what? More fools still. Be ruled by me and go back. Who knows whether such a brain sick fellow will lead you. Go back, go back and be wise. Now, but do thou come with my, thy neighbor pliable. There are such things to be had which I spoke of and many more glorious besides. If you believe that me, read here in this book, and for the truth of what is expressed therein, behold, all is confirmed by the blood of him that made it. Well, neighbor, obstinate, said pliable, I begin to come to a point. I intend to go along with this good man and to cast in my lot with him. But my good companion, do you know the way to this this desired place. I am directed by a man whose name is Evangelist to speed me to a little gate that is before us where we shall receive instruction about the way. Come then, good neighbor, let us be going. Then they went both together and I will go back to my place, said Abstinent. I will be no companion of such mislead fantastical fellows.